So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about shared data sets. We're going to talk about what it is. We're going to talk about when you can use them. We're going to go through the use case where I will show you how to create shared data sets, how to uh, apply them to existing reports, how to uh, modify a shared data set, how to clean up then in Power BI service. We will do the whole thing so you know everything that you need to know about Power BI's shared data set. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so what is a Power BI shared data set? There is going to be there are going to be cases where you'll find yourself that you're using the exact same data set and creating different reports from it. I have a very specific example that we're going to walk you through that I'm going to walk you through that exemplifies the whole thing. So what I have here, you know, I've shown you before a video on how I created a vaccine tracker for COVID. And uh, I started with one data set and one report, which was, uh, let me show you, I have it here. So this was the first one. And one data set, one report, you don't need to think about shared data sets at all. But once I created one, I decided to, oh, I want to also, I was following the vaccine tracking by country, but then I said, okay, I want to know how it goes by continent. So I created another, you know, you might say, okay, you can create both in the same report. Yes, I do actually have both in the same report. So I have, if you click on here on Twitter, I have it. A Twitter account that you know tweets every day uh, the progress of the vaccine and I have here on this link if you click on it it will take you to the report where I have both reports in it so I have this one and that one but because I am publishing this into Twitter and it's grabbing the images what I need to what I had to do was to separate this into two different reports so I have one report for these I have one report for vaccination, and then I have a third report for these that you see here, both combined. And you can see this in Power BI here. You can see here that I have one for everything, one by continent, and this is by country. What happens? This is live data. So it changes often. Today, I had to change to get rid of the they added continent vaccination rates. I calculate the, that in Power BI. I don't want it in the, in the report. So I had to go and filter out. What happens? I have to filter it out here. I have to filter it out here and I have to filter it out there. And I don't want to do that anymore. OK, so what we're going to do is create one data set. I started already the process here, one data set, and then I'm going to create multiple reports connected to this one report. And then we're going to get rid of all of these. Okay. So how do you do that? It's actually fairly simple. You, you grab your report, the one that you've created, one of them, it doesn't matter which one, and then you delete all the visuals and then you save it. I've saved the report. You can see it in Power BI. I saved it as vaccinations data set. Okay. So I just delete all the visuals, call it vaccination data sets and publish it to the web. So far, so good. Okay. Now, what do I do with my existing reports? This is what I'm going to show you. So I have changed already the report where I have both and when I have one of the vaccinations, this is still connected, as you can see, to the data source. So this is still separate. So how do, do I connect an existing report to a shared data set? That's what we're going to do. So here's what you need to do. Um, you go to the model, because that's where you can do things in bulk. You click on all the tables and you delete. Make a copy, please. You delete all the tables. And obviously all your visuals are going to fail. That's fine. You're going to now go to get data. And we're going to get data from a Power BI data set. We're going to now connect this report to the shared data set that we've already published. So we're going to go to Power BI platform, Power BI data set. And you'll see it in a second showing up. I'm going to search. I have a kinds of stuff in here. Vaccination report. You, you see it here? No, va vaccination data set. Sorry. You see vaccination data set. Create. 
And what it's going to do, because the table names are the same, the mission names are the same, the fields are the same, lo and behold, is alive again. How cool is that? So now you're going to see that, let me show you. You see here connected live to the Power BI data. So this is a live connection and you know that it's a live connection because you don't see the table here. With composite models, you can turn this into a direct query and do changes. I'm not going to do that. So what we need to do now is now that we have everything set up, I'm going to publish it up. This is going to publish a new um, a new report. So you will have to manage again the access and all that stuff. But it, it is what it is. So if we go up here and I press refresh, we will get get away. So we have the vaccination by continent. This this is the one that I just published. Open report, and you'll see it. So there it is, right? So how do I see that? If you go to vaccine tracker, to the workspace, this is the workspace where I've published everything. You can see everything here. Now it's a mess because I have the old reports, the new reports, and complete mess. Don't worry. If you go to your data set and you click here, the view lineage is going to show you the graphical view that I showed you before. You see it here. And now it makes everything a lot easier to, to fix. Okay, as you can see now, I have all my three reports connected to the same data set. So if I want to make changes on the vaccination data set, because I need those changes on the reports, I will actually go to here, my vaccination data set in Power BI. You can either download it or you have it saved. I have it saved. And then you, you will make the changes in here. You, you can add columns, remove columns, do whatever, and then you publish it back. And when you publish it back to the service, it will affect the three data sets. So that's actually quite nice. If you want to have different changes on different reports, then you can do the direct query composite model thing. One thing that you need to remember, though, is that you need to refresh settings, schedule refresh your data set so it actually refreshed. <laughs> that would be quite nice. I think I set it to refresh like at 6 in the, in the morning or something. So let's put it six in the morning and then it will refresh my three data sets. So now that we have everything configured again, this view is not very useful because you don't know which one is which one. If you go to the view lineage, you will be able to see which reports you don't need anymore and get rid of them. So if you get rid of the database, it will actually remove everything. So uh, let's do that. And now if we go back to our workspace, you will see the data sets and the reports. So, okay. So I hope this exemplifies how shared data sets work. Uh, it solves most of the questions that you might have when setting these things up. And I will see you again on Wednesday with another data misleading chart. So let's have some fun with that. Until then, as always, take care. Bye-bye.